Okay, now that you've run your very first FDS model, I'm sure you're chomping at the bit to take a look at the results. So the first place that you want to go is in the same directory using your uh, file explorer. You want to go to um, the NIST directory uh, backslash FDS uh, where you ran the simulation and here you can see um, that there, the, the original file that was in this folder was the FDS input file and the um, and the actually FDS5 uh, solver itself. Um, here's a, just a graphic that shows you how um, how the uh, files, it's a simplified diag file diagram for FDS and Smoke View. Um, the input file is uh, a .fds file and you open it with notepad or uh, wordpad. Uh, don't open it in word because uh, it will save funny characters in the text file that FDS won't understand. But basically um, this is the input file. FDS is just a simple text file that FDS reads. Uh, FDS uh, then produces uh, different files uh, depending on what uh, kind of information you want to see. Uh, running FDS is like running a, a real experiment. Uh, you can't go back in time and obtain measurements or values uh, of, that you hadn't already uh, uh, decided to measure. So if you put like a, a, a temperature probe, a thermo thermocouple to measure uh, temperature in certain areas, you can do that. Um, so here are some of the files that uh, you can specify boundary files, uh, 3D smoke uh, files for a partic particular uh, three-dimensional um, graphics package. Uh, there's a particle file, I spelled spelled particle there, typo. Um, you can have a slicer vector file. You can have isosurface files. All of these um, I will cover in future tutorials. Smoke View is the uh, sister uh, software to FDS and you use Smoke View to view uh, the results that FDS produced. And Smoke View pr uh, shows, uh, provides uh, still graphics and also animations which we will see here. So uh, here you have the directory where you ran the model FDS and uh, FDS produced, uh, you can see there's a boundary file here, um, there's a couple of comma separated values uh, that will give you data with respect to time. Uh, these Q files are uploaded by uh, Smoke View. Uh, this is an output file that will uh, summarize the simulation, uh, give you information about the model that you ran. Uh, you can open that with WordPad or Notepad. And here you will see uh, information. It will tell you about the uh, model domain, like the number of cells, the dimensions of the model. It'll tell you also about the physics that you've put into the model, species information, um, it will tell you surface conditions, uh, device properties, you see here. Uh, this was a sprinkler that you ran, the model uh, had an RTI of 100 and it had an activation temperature of 74 degrees Celsius and the flow rate was 60 liters per minute. There's other information. At the very end of the file, it will tell you how long it took to run the, the simulation. And it took 284 seconds. So let's, let's load up the uh, smoke view file. Right now, I'll show you what you would do is uh, just double click on uh, cascade.smv to run the file. If your computer says, uh, I don't know what kind of uh, software you need to run this, you basically have to uh, choose. So similar, don't double click on the BF file like I'm doing here, but it will say, uh, if you double click on the Smoke View file for the first time, it'll say Windows cannot open this file. 
uh, use the web service to find the appropriate program or select the program from the list. What you want to do is select the program from the list, choose OK, and then you want to find uh, the Smoke View program. So you would go Browse, and if you recall, you place the Smoke View file under My Documents, NIST, Smoke View, and then you would choose, you would double click on this file. I'm not going to do that because right now I was trying to open a BF file which automatically opens uh, in, is opened by Smoke View. You don't, you don't double click on these files. It's only the .smv file that you open. So double click on the .smv file. Here in this window it loads up some of the, uh, the geometry of the model and here you see the uh, this is the actual model and let's start off by loading up uh, some of the data that was provided by FDS so first thing let's load up um, water dry here you right click on the screen load boundary file water droplets mass per unit area so here is the model. I'm holding down the left mouse button to show you uh, the different um, the density of water on the surface. Now let's load up the particle file. So again I right click on here, load unload, particle file, particles. And you can see here uh, that it takes a while for the uh, data to be loaded. So it takes a while for SmokeView to load the uh, particle file information, uh, the particle file into the uh, model. But here uh, two things are running. Running, uh, It's showing the particles, the sprinkler, par the uh, water droplets, and also it's giving the boundary surface view of the um, density of the, wa of the water droplets. Um, I think that these two uh, animations should be run apart because uh, the water droplets cover up the boundary view and it's not as, uh, not as um, easy to uh, inform of the animation. Anyway, so that's how you uh, load up uh, the data from FDS uh, with Smoke View to see some of the results that FDS produces. Uh, in another tutorial, I'll show you how to uh, modify the uh, visualization of uh, SmokeView. Thanks for watching.